After years of planning, the Cedar Valley finally has a roller derby team known as the Push-Up Brawlers. And skaters have all sorts of reasons for wanting in on the action. My husband had a ton of hobbies and I had none. And I used to roller skate as a kid and thought it would be fun. A couple other girls thought it would be fun and this is what it turned into. Skaters also enjoy stepping into a new identity. Everyone involved in roller derby has an alias, even the refs. Roller Derby is separated into two positions, blockers and jammers, who wear a star on their helmet to distinguish them. Jammers are generally quicker, and blockers do everything they can to take out the opposing team. Amidst the nicknames and alter egos, there's a scoring system that boils down to this. How many opposing players can a team's jammer pass? Being a jammer is like uh, being both a quarterback and uh, the linebacker at the same time. You get hit an awful lot, um, but you gotta get back up. And I guess that's the key to jamming. The Cedar Valley team, the push-up brawlers, took on the farm fresh roller girls of Rock Island, Illinois on Saturday. It was a match that saw no shortage of heavy hits and fast action. When the dust had settled, the brawlers were victorious by a final of 114 to 102. This was probably one of the closest, hardest fought bouts that we've played. I mean, it was really anybody's bout up until the last jam when their jammer got sent to the penalty box. You know, that was kind of the deciding factor. As you just heard, there's even a penalty box. When teams have skaters sent to the box, like hockey, they have to play down a man until their skater returns. But enough about that, because roller derby isn't so much about the rules as much as the spectacle. Everyone gets into it, including the coaches. Well, I didn't know anything about roller derby, and I spent a lot of time researching roller derby on the internet. I'm kind of an excited person. It doesn't take much to get me really excited, so <laughs> I try to, try to do my best to stay calm. The Brawlers' season ended on Saturday with a 500 record, but skaters are already looking forward to next year, where they can become someone else, dish out some punishment, and have a great time all the while. Reporting for Sports Night, I'm Kyle Pomolia.